Hey there, FS122 image manipulation. Uh, I wanted to give you a little video on layer comps again. Um, just because I know this is a little bit difficult, but it's really important that you guys learn how to do different versions of your work right away so that you're not spreading yourself thin by building a bunch of files when I want you to do different versions of your projects. Okay, so um, as you've seen, this is the file that I gave you in class that is uh, currently on Kong. And uh, basically, all I really want from you from this project is to create different versions of what's on your screen. Now, uh, let me hit Command-0. I'm obviously, I'm on a Mac uh, to fill this screen a little bit better. And I'm going to go over to, well, first I'll do this so you can focus on where I am here. I'm going to go over to my double arrows over here and click on this. So I go into column mode there. And then I will play with what's going on here. We can go to the different, click on the different uh, layers here. Let me go and get my layer comps right there. And right now, um, the file I'm giving you anyway already has a starting layer comp called starting point. But um, here's how this works. Basically, when I'm, when I'm selected, that means I can go in there and change this particular comp. But I don't want to do that. I want to start building more comps. So I'm going to do a few examples here just so you can get the hang. Now the design of, that I'm going to create doesn't have to be or, and isn't going to be all that spectacular. But the point is is that um, when you, well the point is just to make different versions. It, you, this should become more clear as I move along. Okay, so what I like to do is to click in the null space, N-U-L-L, -L, null, so that this thing is not highlighted. Okay, now I'll go and make some changes. So I'll go get the move tool, letter V on your keyboard, and uh, play with layer one. And I'm, all I'm going to do with this exercise is move stuff because that's all we're going to track for this week's homework anyway. So how about if I put this one, well, I, I will keep it high, come to think of it. Let's just do that one. And I'll go to layer two, and maybe move this one down here. And go to layer three, maybe do one here, maybe do this one here, and grab layer five, and put this down here. Maybe, I might even align these a little bit more clearly. Okay, so again, not a spectacular design, but that's not the point. So now I'm ready to save this uh, version. So I will, again, make certain that you do not have anything selected up here. If you have something selected in blue like this, please click in the null space. Okay, now I'll create a new one. So I'll click on this guy right here next to the trash can. This is create new layer comp. And that's my dog. And then uh, this, this name that they're offering here, layer comp one, this works for this. Now, I'd like you guys to get in the habit of turning all of these things on. These are the three things that the layer comp tool will track. It tracks visibility, which is the uh, turning on and turning off of these icons. It tracks position. Well, that's exactly what we did here. I just moved the position of these things and it tracks appearance, meaning layer styles. We'll talk about that and it should become more clear as we move along in the quarter. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I've got these guys on. My label for this is OK. I click OK. Boom. Now I have a new layer comp over here. OK. And because I have a layer comp, I can now switch between these. So obviously this one is selected, but if I click back on starting point, it goes back to my first comp. OK. If I go back to layer comp 1, which is my new version, it gives me the new positions of this. Hopefully you start to see that. Okay, now I'll do another design. Again, we'll just make this happen. Again, I will uh, click in the null space and start to move things around. How about if we do more of a stair step kind of a thing? How about if we do one of these, and one of these, and one of these. And maybe I'll even do a little bit of an arrow. How about that? Something like that. Okay, there's my design, and again, I will make sure that nothing is highlighted in here, which is good. Do a new layer comp, layer comp 2, all of my check boxes are on, fantastic. Click OK. Now I've got layer comp 2, so now when I click back on layer comp 1, boom, there's my new version. Here's the original version, 
and that's the way it should go for all of the comps that you make. So you guys are doing your week one um, 10 comps based on the lines and uh, hopefully that makes sense. If this doesn't make sense, please uh, give me some sort of message in a text or an email or a phone call or whatever and uh, maybe we can clear it up. But hopefully this is clear. You can always rewind and watch this movie and uh, there you go. Talk to you soon.